Imagine how many melanated children were discouraged by counselor who couldn't see past pigment and never went to college because the educator said they couldn't. They deliberately try to stifle our growth. To their surprise, we still grow. So when they say you can't, repeat after me. I can, I will, and I have. Welcome back to Everything College. I'm your host, Christina Parker, supporting your college navigation while minimizing debt. Welcome back to Everything College. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share so other students can have this information. Um, so I previously, I did a Cal State video. I did a UC video about HERF and, you know, how many, if the schools have put the information about HERF on there, how much will students get with those helpful links there as well. In this video, I'm going to be doing just, just random schools from my TikTok that mostly are not in California. Um, I'm on hold right now with Cal State LA. <laughs> um, I'm trying to call some schools that did not provide that specific information on you know when students are gonna receive it and so forth. And so I've been on call for now, how long? one hour and 15 minutes. So please give me a light because I'm trying to call multiple schools. Hopefully they don't all take hours to get through, but you know, I'm doing it all for y'all, just, just for y'all. Um, so let's go ahead and look at my TikTok. If you haven't followed me on TikTok, you know, go give me a follow. It's called Darken Artistry. I'm going to be changing my name and actually everything college name might get changed as well. Um, so give me some ideas in the description, description, the comments below on what you think the name of this channel should be. Um, all right, let's, let's see. I also have another, I have a live that I put, that I'm going to put up, or I've already put up on YouTube where I go through multiple different schools that students ask me on that live. So, um, you know, um, Texas and universities in New York, universities in Arizona, like multiple universities. So you can also go through that live. It's an hour, um, but super a lot of helpful information as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do Southern New Hampshire University. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna share with y'all my screen too. I think because this is already highlighted, I know that I've answered this question before. And I probably answered this on my live, um, but I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again. Uh, let's go ahead and do her. Um, well, I don't remember what I said. I don't remember what it yielded, but um, I know that I did this before. Um, oh, dang it. Um, okay. <laughs> Where's the search engine? <laughs> Am I tripping? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I don't like when schools do that. I need I need the search engine to be, you know, very searchable. <laughs> um sometimes in like the CARES, even though it's not under CARES Act, right? Sometimes they do have the third rounds in places like this. So I'm just kind of looking. Um, okay. Herf. I don't know where I was before because that didn't let me do a lot of searches. Um, Herf, we're gonna do COVID-19 emergency relief funding. Mm-mm. So no, I do not, unfortunately, see anything around COVID-19 emergency relief funding. Let's go ahead and put an ARP. A-R-O-P. <laughs> nope. So I don't see anything around HERF 3 as of right now. I don't know if like out-of-state schools are using like different language and that I'm not like accustomed to. So that's why it's not popping up in my search engine. But I will definitely go ahead and link. I will go ahead and link this website um, in the description below. If you would like, you can do a little bit more in-depth um, research. And 
come back and let us know. Did you find anything? Um, not too sure if I found something on my live. Could have potentially. So I encourage you to go watch that. Um, let's go ahead and look at another one. Fashion, Fashion Institute of Technology. Let's go ahead and do that one. Fashion Institute, Institute of Technology. Technology Herb. Um, um, let's, let's, hey, okay, we got the American Rescue Plan, which is exactly connected to this, um, Institute, fashion, May 2021, you should receive from the Department of Education, University of AIDS will provide virtual vital emergency grants and reporting is supposed to be updated. Um, let's just go here to see like if there's any nope. Uh, let's let me let me let me her student aid fund. Let me just kind of play around with the site really quickly and see if there's anything that like I'm missing. So we got a report in June of 2021, which is just like the summertime um, and or the reporting for spring semester. So yeah, so okay. And three of the following required reporting elements. Okay, so they did distribute um, a third round, which is this reporting right here. I'm assuming I didn't click on it. Um, actually, yeah. So I'm not too sure. Um, I don't see anything specific. Let's look at let's look at this. Nope, it's the same thing. So I don't see anything specific for fall of 2021. Does this not mean that you will not get money for fall of 2021? But it is possible. I encourage you to reach out to your university in particular and or check back here for updates um, if I do find any information that has been updated um, on this. So yeah, it's unfortunate, but if you do know this information, um, I encourage you to go ahead and put that in the comments below. And also, this all these links will also be um, linked in the description as well. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Um, I'm not getting like a lot of... Okay. Um, I currently attend... I'm not... You know, sometimes I just don't try the names. <laughs> Uh, Capella University. University. Earth three. Let's go ahead and see. Save Capella Her three Capella University. ARP. That's exactly what we're looking for. Hopefully, this does have information on when students should be receiving funds. June 14, twenty twenty one. So that means they did, you know, for you know, summer or like this was for spring. Um, you never too sure about which one exactly. I'm gonna assume it's for um, summer because spring was connected to her too. Um, yeah, so they received $840. Um, yeah, so I don't see anything about fall of 2021. Let me just put fall of 2021, her three fall 2021. Um, yeah, federal financial aid. I'm just seeing if anything like kind of pops up. Nope. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, all I see is that they did their reporting for uh, fall of 2021. I mean, sorry, for summer 2021, but I don't see anything specifically for fall, but I will link this in the description below. If you would like to do a little bit more in-depth research, I encourage you to do that as well and or reach out to your university in particular. All right, let's see if any other person asked a question. Um, I have been enrolled and paid. Can I still apply for it? Um, yes, you still can apply for it if the process has not depending on your university, right? If they already closed their application, if they had an application, then no. Um, if your, your university is doing applications and it's still open, then yes. 
if you're if you're a university doing self selection, then no, you know what I'm saying. So it just really depends on your university. I can't give you like a an exact answer. I go to Remusen in Bloomington. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I I I still get pronouncing um, schools names. I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, Bloomington. And we're just gonna say her three. And moves in in her three. We can see the CARES Act. CARES Act. So that means that they receive funding. So that's you know important to note. If you're interested in seeing if your university received funding or not, then you can go check out my how to see if your university received funding video on YouTube. Um about the CARES Act, higher education emergency relief funding, her. Uh, this is all 2020, 2021. That that's that's May 2021. Yeah. So they also only did a June 30th, 2021. Um, so let me just do one more search. Nope. Well, this car said let me do AP, the ARP. ARP. So I don't see any information for fall of 2021. That does not mean that they won't give you this information or that you will not receive a um, HERF grant in fall of 2021. It just means I do not see any information around here. Actually, uh, no, this HERF 2, this HERF 2, June 4th, yep. So I see, so it seems like HERF these, so it seems as if the funding that they were reporting is connected to HERF 2, which means that I, that, that, it's likely that you will get funding for fall 2021 because I do not see her three funding or any report connected to it. And if they do distribute funds, they do have to put that on their public site. So I do not see that. I will go ahead and link this for you um, if you would like to go ahead and do that specific research. Um, again, if you, just cause I don't find it doesn't mean that it's not there. You might have better luck than me. I'm just really doing a soft search um, for your universities. Um, um, Lamar University. Sorry, I'm just looking at my TikTok to see exactly what people would like me to research. Um, Lamar University, her three, Lamar University, okay. We're going to go with this one. Uh, March 2021, yes, information about the, the mm -hmm. university has been allocated, mm -hmm. total amount, mm -hmm. 30 days reporting um, as of June 15th. Um, so I do not see anything for fall of 2021. Um. Let's go here, see if there's any more information. Okay, so we see this, so this is March. Oh, okay, so they're just telling about how it's been passed. Um, okay, who is eligible, how to apply, when would I receive the grant? All right, cool. So um, those will be begin awarding HERF-3 um, student grants after September 8th of 2021 for fall of 2021. Um, so, so that means that you will be getting funding for fall of 2021 if you meet the other eligible criteria. I will go ahead and link this in the description below as well. Sometimes you do have to play around with where this information is. So just because I doesn't, I don't find the information as someone doing a soft search does not mean that information is not there. So I encourage you to um, click the link and you know also do your own search as well. Um, but perfect. Um, let's just look at eligibility. So basically those who re to receive the grant in fall, fall or spring semester of 2021, 2022, must be enrolled as a student during the ap applicable year. Um, how do you apply? Complete FAFSA. So there is, uh, there is not an application will be linked to complete the institution. Oh, so there will be an application. Um, yeah, so it will be an application for you all from this information that I'm receiving. And this is from Lamar University. I'm also going to note that. 
I'm also going to note that. Let me note that real quick. Let me note this really quickly for Tickety Talk. And yeah. All right, let's go ahead and see which other universities y'all would like to know. Western Governors University. All right, cool. Also, if y'all just want to like be like, hey, I received money from the HERF funding, go ahead and just comment that below for students. Um, I might make a separate video, like literally just doing some quick facts around HERF um, and then asking students to like use that as an opportunity to put their information. But you can put it on any, on any video, but I would love for any student who received money just to spam it so other students can know that information, right? Because there's thousands of universities and not all of them necessarily I'm going to be able to look up nor understand or, or, or navigate that system, right? Because all systems do operate just a little bit different. So Western Govern University, a lot of a lot of these schools are also in my um, live from TikTok that should already be on um, online on my YouTube channel. Um, who is eligible? Do, do, do. Let's see. There's her three applying scholarships, higher education emergency relief funding. This is only two. This is only two. Let's go ahead and look at three. Let's go ahead and look up three. Um, okay, let's put it COVID-19 emergency relief funding. So this is just exactly where I was. This is them receiving $10 million. Let's see exactly which one they're talking about. This is March. This is in alignment with the third one. Oh, this is scholarships. Mercy aid to support students impacted. <sighs> Let me see, like, is there one? So we're gonna be looking up um, we're going to be looking at University of Phoenix, so I'm going to go ahead and look up the OPE ID already. It's 020988, so, um, you know, I just go all the way down, so we have 02, um, and then it was 09, so let's scroll all the way up. Oh, okay, that's two up. 09, right, let me just make sure, 09, 0209, 02. 09. Okay, so dump the zero one. Y'all, this is zero one zero two. All right, zero nine. Boom. And then it is eight eight. So zero nine. We got A4. Yeah, we do not have A8. Zero 09. So that means that, that means that Phoenix University did not receive COVID, did not receive the funding for her three. Um, from my research, they, it's not even on the OP ID. Um, their OP ID is not here. And that tells me that they did not receive her free funding. So let's go ahead and look at Grand Canyon University. So Grand Canyon University. Um, Grand Canyon University, OPE ID. Their OPE ID is their OPE ID is 107. One. It could be zero one. It could be zero one. Let's, 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 let's do zero one. 
because it just says one without like if it's multiple zeros in front of it or not. So I'm just going to assume it's zero one. So zero. Actually, it will be zero zero because it's supposed to be eight numbers in front of it. And this is six numbers, so it will be zero zero. <sighs> okay, let's, let's go all the way to the top. Zero zero one zero seven. Zero zero one zero seven. Zero zero one zero seven. That's five. That's seven. Arizona Western College. Um seven four. So you see how it skips four and goes to six. We see Phoenix College, but we don't see we don't see the University of Phoenix. So I'm also going to make the assumption because they're not on here that they did not receive funding. So if you are at Grand Canyon University or if you're at Phoenix University, you will not receive HERF three. Please, students, if you are at this university and you're like, actually, that's wrong, please go ahead and comment that below. Please link that information there. Um, but from my research, um, it, it seems as if that, yeah, you ain't going to get no funding, unfortunately. Um, let's go ahead and look at some other universities. Let's see if anyone asked me any other questions. Arizona State University. I did this one in my live, but I'm gonna do it again. The university. Because I don't think I found anything. I don't remember, to be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and look. Um, Um, so they have gotten hurt funding before. That doesn't mean nothing though. Okay, cool. So they did receive they did receive a third round. That's good. Um, but they only are showing summer of 2021 um disbursement. So they're not showing anything. Student emergency application can be completed. They have, they're not, I'm not seeing anything for 20 for fall this semester. Um, emergency fund has given out 900K and donor funds about 1.9G CARES fund. We appreciate your patience, face covering students, COVID-19 response, bias education. Yes, yeah, so I don't see anything for fall of 2021. It does not mean you're not going to get anything. It just means that they haven't posted the information as of yet. Um, I'm going to try and I'm actually going to go ahead and link this um, if anyone wants to do a little bit more depth research and I'm going to do one more university or one more uh, university or, you know, community college or whatever someone has asked me to do. All right, we're gonna do the University of Alaska. Someone asked that question, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. University of Alaska. And as y'all see, I'm not like doing like the top universities. I'm literally just doing whatever I see. So please give this a like, 
my head hurts from being on hold for an hour and 40 minutes and them not giving me no important information. If I had time, I would have pressed the situation, but I really don't. It already took almost two hours away from my day. Um, even though I was, you know, doing other stuff, but still, you know what I'm saying? No, no. You know what I mean? I feel me. Um, University of Alaska, her two, her three. Uh, University of Alaska. So I'm seeing, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that there's multiple. There's multiple. So I don't know which school you go to. So there's Anchorage and there's Southeast. So I'm not too sure which school you attend because you didn't specify, you didn't, oh, wow. You didn't specify, you say University of Alaska. So I don't know if um, it's Anchorage or if it's Southeast. Excuse me, it, it seems to only be 2020 um, on here. Yeah, I don't see 2021. Um, I see HERF 2. If you get HERF 2, you're really, really more, university more likely to get HERF 3. HERF 1, eh, hit and miss. Um, spring 2021 for this is um, University of Alaska Southeast. Um, so they still have fall 2021 on here either. So I'm just gonna say this, look, if your university is not on here, um, or they don't have information fall 2021, I encourage you to do three things. Either check your emails, um, contact your university and or check back at a later date um, to see if that site has been updated. But I hope that I supported y'all in the navigation of finding out if your universities have specifically received HERF 3 funding and or when they will be allocating those funds. Unfortunately, not all universities did have that information, but please go ahead, do your own personal research. Go ahead, contact your universities. And until always, stay studious. <laughs>